Earbuds can get pretty expensive. And let's face it, sometimes you don't need the best, most up-to-date model out there. Rather, a good option that does the work without you breaking the bank. If this is the case, I'm happy to let you know that challenge accepted. Today, we compiled a list of the top five best true wireless earbuds you can buy for under 50 bucks. For more information and the most updated prices, check the links in the description box below. Number five, the Beats Flex. You may have forgotten, but Apple bought Beats a few years ago for a lot of money. And while the company puts most of its efforts into the AirPods and AirPods Pro, it hasn't completely forgotten about the Beats brand. The new Beats Flex is basically a tweaked pair of Beats X at a lower price point. The Beats Flex has Apple exclusive features, but it also plays well with Android phones. Nevertheless, the Beats Flex is a great option for anyone with an iPhone because of its W1 chip integration. The W1 chip isn't quite as fancy as the H1 chip, so you don't get hands-free Siri access, but you do get other Apple-centered features like automatic device switching within the Apple ecosystem and improved power efficiency. What's more, the Beats Flex is great for everyday use because the soft-touch plastic makes the headset very lightweight at just 18.6 grams. This is good if you plan to have the neckband on all day as you'll barely feel the buds weighing you down. The cables are very long, so you'll deal with long loops where the earbuds connect to the neckband. Thankfully, the anti-tangle cable design works and the cables shouldn't fall into a giant knot in your pocket. Don't even think about breaking for battery life. With its 10-hour, 24-minute battery life and fast charging capabilities, you can listen to music for just over 10 hours straight. Just 10 minutes on a USB-C cable supplies the neck buds with 90 minutes of playtime. This is the main benefit of traditional wireless earbuds, though you don't get the perk of portable battery power from a case with the Flex. You can take advantage of the auto-pause with the Beats Flex by snapping the magnetic housings together. If you separate the buds when you receive an incoming call, the headset will automatically answer the call. This can be useful, but if you get a lot of spam calls, you may want to disable this feature. Another thing, no matter what operating system runs your life, you won't have any issues with playback or connection stability. That said, if you are an Android user, switching between different devices will be a manual, timely process. But a breeze for you lucky Apple users thanks to the W1 chip. Next up, we present to you the Anchor Soundcore Life A1. With an IPX7 rating, the Soundcore Life A1 earbuds can endure whatever your regimen is, short of sitting at the bottom of a deep lake for hours. Just remember to dry them before putting them in the charging case. It'll survive a run in the rain, that kind of workout. The all-plastic buds mix gloss and heavily textured black elements except the metal covering the drivers and the matte case is plastic too. On the side, the logo bears some resemblance to a certain Apple-owned property. The lid of the A1 battery case gives a somewhat flimsy feel, with a bit more flex than the sturdier A1 buds. Though the magnetic clasp provides some reassurance, one drop on the wrong floor and it'll probably crack. Three LEDs show the charging status of the earphones, with one meaning it's less than 30% charged, two for 30-70%, to 70%, and three for 100% charged. On the back, Anchor has placed a USB-C port. While the Life A1 doesn't come with a wireless charging pad, the case will charge when you place it on top of a charging mat. At this price, Anchor has not included any active noise cancellation, but the passive isolation is pretty good. It comes with a variety of ear tips and wing tips to improve stability and ensure a solid fit. Not bad by any means. For controls, you'll have to memorize the button presses on the Soundcore Life A1 because there are no apps or separate buttons. This is where the difference between a premium experience and a budget experience is most noticeable. Anchor has included some higher-end features, but with concessions. You probably won't be able to tell most of the time which EQ preset you have, unless you really listen for it. You press the button three times to change the EQ, and you'll know it happened because the bud plays a little beep to indicate, but it doesn't name it. I know, I'd feel very annoyed too. So you practically have to guess which setting you're on. The bass booster is the most obvious EQ because it's bonkers, which makes it easier to identify the other two. For a hair under 50 US dollars, the Anchor packs in three EQ presets, though two are quite sonorous gents, and you get the standard fare AAC and SBC Bluetooth codecs. While you might find yourself missing app support and memorizing tapping patterns to access controls, the A1 ought to satisfy most. The JLab Go Air Pop is another no-frills option for the best budget wireless earbuds. 
This headset has an IPX4 rating, so it can withstand sweat, but unlike the A1, it shouldn't be submerged in water. And it shouldn't break. But even if it does, guess what? It's cheap enough to replace without breaking the bank. The JLab Go Air Pop is a pair of plastic wireless earbuds that come in black, lilac, teal, rose, and slate colorways. Each earbud is small and lightweight, making it really comfortable to wear. Three sizes of ear tips, small, medium, and large, ensure that you get the best fit possible for optimal isolation and sound quality. The small ear tips fit my ears perfectly, and I usually have problems finding ear tips that fit me comfortably, just so you know. The small size may be a big plus for people with small ear canals. The JLab Go Air Pop connects to your devices using Bluetooth 5.1 and supports the AAC and SBC codecs. AAC works well on iOS, but its performance varies across Android hardware, so iPhone owners reap the most benefit. Not again! But Android phone owners, don't let this scare you off. AAC performance has become more stable over the years, it's just imperfect. Worst case scenario, you can always force SBC streaming through the Android developer settings for a steadier listening experience. Case-wise, unlike the previous JLab Go Air, which features an open case, the Go Air Pop includes a case with a lid to prevent the earbuds from flying out. The case can fast charge the earbuds, which has an 11-hour standalone battery life. You still get JLab's signature integrated USB-A charging cable, so you should always be able to charge the case. According to JLab, the cable can withstand 10,000 bends before showing signs of wear. Talk about stamina! Next up is the One More Piston Buds. When designing piston buds, one more strayed from its standard earbud design. Rather than a rounded, oblong earbud shape of previous One More true wireless earbuds, the piston buds featured a stemmed design. Wonder where the company got that idea? You guessed it! The One More Piston Buds may mimic the AirPod stem design, but One More adds a twist with its stout stems. The stems are shorter than most AirPod alternatives, which is good and bad. The design makes them less likely to catch on a face mask and fly away, but it also makes them harder to remove compared to the long-stemmed buds. Nevertheless, One More features touch panels on its piston buds instead of tactile button controls, which is cool, but the controls are so limited that they're nearly useless. The only playback adjustments you can make are to pause and resume your music. Other than that, you can access your smart assistant with a double tap of the left earbud or answer and end phone calls. If you want to adjust the volume or skip a track, you have to pull out your phone. As of this review, the only reason you should download the One More Music app is if you need to update the One More Piston Buds. Otherwise, the app is next to useless. You can't remap the controls, equalize the sound, or locate the earbuds. These software features could all be added in a future app update, but for now, all it does is clearly displays the battery life of each earbud in the case. Otherwise, reserve the space on your phone for something fun, like Among Us. Nevertheless, you can use either earbud for mono listening, which is a must-have feature for anyone who lives with a hearing impairment. The sound quality is consumer-friendly, bass notes are amplified and sound twice as loud as mid-range notes. This makes it easier for you to hear that beloved oomph from your favorite songs, but it can also make it difficult to hear musical nuances. The earbuds last 3 hours 32 minutes on a single charge, which is slightly below average for wireless earbuds. You can't fast charge the earbuds in this case, though it only takes 90 minutes to complete a full charge cycle. Said case provides an extra 4.7 charges to your earbuds, so you don't have to look around for that USB-C cable too often. Finally, we present to you the Soundcore Liberty Air 2. We've all heard of the sophomore slump. Well, all of us except Anchor. The Anchor Soundcore Liberty Air 2 exceeds our expectations for how a cheap pair of true wireless earbuds should perform, making it one of my personal favorites. For just $23.99, this set of cheap earbuds is another AirPods lookalike. Despite the mimicry, this is a great value, and anyone who fields a lot of hands-free calls should get the Liberty Air 2. For the attainable price, these earbuds are extremely well built. Yes, it's an all-plastic construction from the earbuds to the case, but it still looks pretty great. The bottom of the case holds a USB-C input and manual Bluetooth pairing button, while the front has three LEDs to clearly communicate the remaining battery status. The earbuds follow the same stem design as before, but this is far from a carbon copy. Thankfully, Soundcore dropped the last model's glossy finish, which attracted an inordinate amount of fingerprints. This second iteration is more mature and doesn't try to garner attention with a shiny veneer. 
The stems are easy to grip, and the circular section emblazoned with the Soundcore logo serves as a multifunction touch panel on each earbud. The one downside to the stems is that earrings scrape against them and produce an unpleasant sound. But this is more or less the case with all stemmed earbuds. The Anker Soundcore Liberty Air 2 used to have auto-pause functionality, but it seems that Anker has silently removed this feature. However, you can still double-tap the right earbud to pause and resume playback. What's more, these earbuds use Bluetooth 5.0, which optimizes connection stability and power consumption. So long as you keep within the designated 10-meter wireless range, connection consistency is flawless indoors and outdoors. The Liberty Air 2 supports SBC, Aptex, and AAC for high-quality streaming regardless of your preferred operating system. Another benefit, reduced latency. Audiovisual lag is nearly imperceptible when using the Liberty Air 2, which is great for people who stream video from bed or the treadmill. All in all, this is a great set of true wireless earphones, especially when it comes to earbuds under 50 US dollars. You can usually find the Liberty Air 2 for $23.99 USD, if not cheaper. So if you want a pair of earphones to do it all, this is an excellent value. If you're willing to sacrifice the occasional frustration of switching between devices and you don't mind taking a few moments to EQ the sound, the Anker Soundcore Liberty Air 2 is a top-tier set of buds. For more information and the most updated price, check the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out our previous video on Soundcore Liberty 4 vs AirPods 2 Pro.